Sherwin Hall's son is not even as old as the lockdown, yet Sherwin's worried the knock-on effects of COVID-19 might mean this little boy will grow up without a father. It's not the virus which is threatening Sherwin, but an aggressive cancer which was misdiagnosed because he was unable to get an MRI scan. I'm very angry at the way I'm being treated due to COVID-19 and the delay on my cancer uh, treatments. And now I'm fighting for my life. And I have an eight-week-old baby that, you know, I might not be able to see soon, you know? And it just, it just, it devastates me. Sherwin's now waiting for surgery, but one consultant told him if he'd been given the scan sooner, it could have radically altered his prognosis. And his case is not unique. Quite frankly, there's a potential second catastrophe uh, on the scale almost of the pandemic itself of lost lives and lost opportunities unless there's urgent action taken to open up services to patients who need them. Many cancer treatments were paused during the virus outbreak, partly to free up resources, but also amid concerns patients undergoing chemotherapy would be more vulnerable and that surgery could be too risky. But in some places, hospitals have had to come up with radical solutions to continue cancer treatment after wards were cleared. For Bryony Thomas, it means a trip to a dental school. This is her footage as she approaches the dentist's chair, not for a filling, but for life-saving chemotherapy. I feel lucky to be in Bristol, feel lucky that we've got this dental facility they've been able to use. Not every city has that. And as you say, the hospitals that are, that are empty are not being used for those other medical treatments that people so desperately need. The irony is two private hospitals nearby in Bristol have remained largely unused, despite being offered at cost to the NHS. New figures from Pancreatic Cancer UK show the shocking impact of the pandemic on those who already face a one in four chance of dying after a month. Over 50% of patients who have been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer recently have had their treatment, either their surgery or their chemotherapy, uh, either stopped or delayed. And that means that that will cause um, loss of time with their loved ones and potentially cause an earlier death than may have been needed. In a statement, NHS England said more people than ever started cancer treatment and over 180,000 were referred for checks in March. NHS staff have made huge efforts to ensure patients continue to get treatment. Cancer services are now largely open, ready and able to receive all patients who need care. Doctors at hospitals like this one and many others around the country are profoundly concerned that all the routine treatments and diagnoses that normally happen are being postponed. And that could lead to a huge number of excess deaths. Perhaps more people will die from the knock-on effects of COVID-19 than will die from the virus itself. Dan Rivers, News at 10, Bristol.